Let us take the second problem. Determine the expression for displacement of a cantilever bar subjected to uniform distributed axial load Q0 using the rayleigh ritz method. So you are given a cantilever bar fixed at one end free at the other. Q0 is a distributed axial load along the entire length. E is the Young's modulus. A is the area of cross section. Now when I talk about the area of cross section, please note that it is not this area that we see here, but it is the area that is, if I take a section here, this what I see here, this is the area of cross section and L is the length of the bar element. We know that the strain energy is given by 0 to L. Ea dou u by dou x the whole square dx the work potential is given by force into displacement in the previous problem we had a force p which was acting at a point so we had taken it as p into u is the assumed displacement here we have a distributed load so it is along the entire length so we take integral it's a negative sign minus q0 u into dx the potential energy pi is given as strain energy plus the work potential In Rayleigh Ritz method, we assume a displacement function. So let us assume it as A1x plus A2x square. Applying the boundary conditions, we know that the left hand side is fixed. So at x equals to 0, the displacement is. 0. <clears throat> uh, let me call this equation 1 and this equation 2. Let us differentiate equation 2 with respect to x because in this term, uh, in the potential energy equation, we need dou u by dou x. So, when we differentiate equation 2, we get dou u by dou x equals to a1 plus 2a2x. I will substitute this in equation 1 and I get I get this equation. <clears throat> now I let me solve this equation, expand the equation a1 square plus 4a1a2x plus 4a2 square x square dx. a1x square upon 2 plus a2 x cube upon 3 and the limits of the integral are 0 to L. Solving this further we get Ea a1 square upon x plus 4 a1 a2 x square upon 2 plus 4 a2 square x cube upon 3 limits 0 to L plus L cube by 3 into A2 
L1 square uh, sorry this term here was into x Mm, this is we're just replacing x with l not a1 sorry so a1 square l plus 4 or i could say 2 a1 a2 l square plus 4 by 3 l cube a2 square minus q naught l square upon 2 a1 plus l cube upon 3 a2 using the principle of minimum potential principle of minimum potential energy it says that for equilibrium the potential energy has to be zero So, we differentiate it first with respect to A1. We get Ea upon 2, 2A1L plus 2A2L square. This term is a constant uh, since we are differentiating with respect to A1. Minus Q0 L square by 2. This I can write down as um, 2A1L plus 2L square A2 equals to Q0 upon L square upon 2AE and uh, there is a 2 here as well so this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. Next we uh, differentiate with respect to, so I will call this equation 3, with respect to A2, also it has to be 0, I get half E A, 8 by 3 L cube A2 plus 2 L square A1 minus Q naught L cube by 3. This equation can be written as <clears throat> please solve the intermediate uh, steps. So we have. Uh, I will rewrite this equation. So I will write the a1 term first, then the a2 term. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. When we solve for this, we will get a1 equals to. and a2 equals to minus q0 upon 2ae the problem was to determine the equation or the expression for displacement we have got the values of a1 and a2 we had assumed the displacement of this form now let us substitute a1 and a2 in this so we get upon mm, this is to ae <coughs> let me take in common q0 upon 2 ae
only uh, q not upon 2 a e i will take common in the bracket i will have 2 x l okay so uh, since there was no 2 2 here i multiplied minus x square so this is what was required of the solution so we have the um, we have the displacement equation this solves the problem